Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a real quick look at this integral here. So it is the integral of nested square roots. So square root of x times square root of x times square root of x, so on and so forth. So how do we tackle a problem like this? Well, the first thing that I might suggest to you is that we actually just rewrite the problem. And so instead of using the square root sign, what I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to replace this using just the bracket notation instead. And we're going to be raising everything to the power of a half as we understand that we can represent a square root as. Okay, so, and this obviously goes on forever. And integrating that with respect to x. Okay, so why have I chosen to rewrite this problem like this? Well, simply so this way we can see that this is actually just going to be applications of our index laws. So what's going to happen on the outermost x term? Well, that's going to be x to the power of one half. And then for the second x term, it's going to be the half times by the half, so that's one quarter. So you can say that it then becomes x to the half times by x to the quarter. And then you might guess for the next one, a half times a half times a half, so that becomes x to the one on eight. And then so on and so forth. And so we see that we just get this very nice progression here. Uh, and this will just go on uh, infinitely. Okay, so again, Index laws. So what's going to happen now is we're simply just going to multiply these together. And so we know how to do that. We just add the indices. So what do we get when we get a half plus one quarter plus one eighth plus one sixteenth, so on and so forth? Well, we see that this is in fact a geometric progression since we know that it's going down by a common ratio and not a common difference. So since we are going down uh, as a geometric progression, we know that we can sum an infinite geometric progression as simply a over one minus r, where a is the very, very first term, so that would be a half, and then r is our common ratio here. So now our sum of this sequence becomes one half over one minus one half, which equals obviously one half over one half, which equals one. So we can say that multiplying all of these together is the same thing as saying x to the power of one so that's in fact what the square root of x times the square root of x times square root of x, so on and so forth. That's actually just equal to x. So now our problem simply becomes the integral of x with respect to x. And that is pretty obviously just x squared on 2 plus c, some constant there. So there we go. It might look like a bit of a difficult problem, but it turns out not being too tricky. So if you have enjoyed today's video, then please leave a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this. If you have any recommendations for other problems or perhaps there's another method you would have attacked this problem with, then please let me know down in the comments. As always, I hope you have a great day and stay curious.